Hey guys, it's Jay. Uh, this is my granite frog piece. It's a carved old frog. It's very possible to make some other images as well. Um, this being the frog eye. And this being the mouth. This down here being his, his throat. Like under his chin. And then his feet down here. This is his rear with his legs. Almost in a, like a jumping, like a sitting jumping position. Good day because it's raining, so the rock's wet. Let's see if you can see a little more of the color in the granite. So you can see some of the blues and the grays. You can see the ripples in the neck right here, in that pouch that swells up when they croak. Kind of what gave this piece of weight to me, along with the way it's lined up in the sitting position. And then the eye being where the eyes are supposed to be. The shape of the head, the shape of the mouth. Faces in the stone. Um, thank you for recommending me be doing this rock. It's a very amazing piece, and I know you wanted to see it. So I hope this video kind of gave it some justice. I think it should. The colors coming in very well with this light mist of the rain. Very nice granite. Just in front of this car. Of course, that's next to this piece. Yeah, it is in here. It's another very nice piece that I showed earlier. I'll show this piece here to get a look quick. Oh, it's wet because it's just so amazing when it's wet, the color of these crystals. This case bar, bells bar crystal. Probably formed in a pegmatite. See how it's like granite down here? And then the bells bar, case bar crystals get larger up in here. So this is like in the center of the vein of the pegmatite and this is closer to the wall where it would have sort of um, taken longer to cool down or no faster to cool down and then the slower it cools down the bigger the crystals get 